God has blessed us with grace and goodness, but slowly the pursuit of more distracts us. When we went to Medan, we saw the people's great needs, sickness and struggles to survive. And this opened up our eyes. Actually, God has given us so much, more than enough to live and most of all, His grace. We are so rich, there is so much to bless others. This mission trip taught us to find joy and satisfactions every day. We learned that our hearts and hands can change people's lives and change our lives too. Sharing this behalf of Brother Philip, before we departed for Medan, we encountered issues like leave not approved or passport expiry. And after we arrived, there were more surprises in store. However, we still managed to visit and share with many families in need. We shared that God is a protector, provider, counsellor, comforter and friend. God continues to show us and remind us through this trip that He cares about us and He remembers us always. We saw God working in Medan and the people there are ready to receive His blessings and breakthrough. Just like for this old lady where she's piled up with problems with relationship, opportunities and health. They have accepted Christ before but they do not let others know about it. As a believer, when you have this bag just piled up on you, it can be a challenge to fully see God. But we know that He is faithful, He is here to heal, restore, and provide for every need. So we prayed for them. So God brought us there to share Jesus to those who don't know Him. But He also allowed us to uplift our fellow believers in Christ and encourage them to fix their eyes on Jesus. This being my first mission trip, I wasn't sure how the whole thing works. But I said yes and was longing for God to reveal the rest to me. In Medan, we met people opening up in tears as they shared their struggles in life, desperate for hope and restoration. I realized how the enemy is out there spreading lies. That is where God revealed missions to me. It is the Holy Spirit's mission and He is the one at work. All I had to do is proclaim the truth of Jesus' love and declare whatever He prompts me to declare over their situations. So that's what I did, and throughout all we encountered, seeing people receiving salvation and opening up to the gospel, I'm convinced that the enemy is shaken and there is a shift taking place in the land. There are a lot of poor villagers that we do not have see their proper living condition. We saw family struggle with no stable job, broken family and do not have a neat home. Thank God for what I'm blessed with in my life. There were many challenges. One of them was during the kids event, it was raining on the last day. We pray for strength and able to break through. Seeing others able to lead and guide better, better encouraged me to learn more on God's words, so I'm able to do the same for the others. When I signed up for this mission trip, I expected that we would be helping the residents of Madan. However, it turns out that they were the ones who helped me grow as a person and in Christ. Many of them were facing extreme poverty but they were still able to find happiness in their daily lives and put their trust in Jesus. Furthermore, I am truly grateful that I got to witness God's grace in this mission trip where some people received salvation, love and healing from Jesus.